In 1975, Dick Sobray, as well as Dwight, started the firm by saying we're going to be a firm that specializes in healthcare. And in addition to that, we're going to integrate architecture and engineering. No one was doing that at the time. Architects back then were reactionary. I was more proactive. And that's how we created the need for planning in our firm was to help these hospitals with their issues, help them with all the complexities that they were facing. Shortly thereafter, we were blessed to get two projects simultaneous. At that time, it was about $5 million worth of work. As it turned out, those two projects set the course for the development of BSA. Four of us eventually got involved, and I like to think that the firm really gelled and got propelled forward with not only myself, but Dwight, Don Altmaier, and Dick Radcliffe. We had a reasonable amount of work, and we had different things we brought to it. And I think that the core values of the company were really formed then in terms of how a business is put together. We prided ourselves on doing what we said we would do. We moved from a, a meager beginnings of a local firm to a major player in the rest of the regional United States. So we worked hard at just simply trying to build the culture there that was going to somehow feed the future of the firm. The biggest challenge I had was uh, I had these older partners and I had to figure out what I was going to do when they all retired and so that's basically where I started to expand the, the idea of ownership. I think it was a firm that grew quickly, maybe quicker than was anticipated. I think the excitement is that a lot of young people got to make a lot of decisions that they would not have gotten to do at another firm. We brought a lot of innovation to the table over the years with, with our thought leadership and how we introduce new ideas at the early stages of planning or the early stages of design of projects. I came from a small firm and all they cared about was the design quality. They didn't care if the client was happy at the end, they just wanted the solution to be fantastic. When I came to BSA, all they cared about was that the client uh, loved the project and it worked for them. I researched several of the firms around and, and really there were only a couple in the city uh, that were focused on healthcare and one of those being Boyd Sobray Associates at the time which became then BSA Design. And I think that over time what became questioned was what did we design because the word design could mean so many things. The term life structure captured what we wanted to uh, convey to our clients a as a focus for the firm uh, and one that really truly integrated all of the disciplines into one solution. We've seen our clients migrate from not only in the healthcare market to learning and discovery markets as well. With the research that is done in the, in the research facilities that we design for, the hospitals, you know, the caregivers, uh, the patients, everyone that is impacted by our designs, um, those are true life structures. We've successfully managed to transition the first generation of this firm. I represent part of the second generation. How the third generation of this firm is embracing life structures, they will bring new meaning to what that word is. The firm was a large group centered here in Indianapolis. And now we are amongst seven studios. Uh, we're spread across the country. We're gonna to continue to be entrepreneurial in spirit and innovate for our clients so that we can help them solve their problems. BSA has always had a family atmosphere. There's always been an opportunity for me as a professional to do something new and to grow as an individual. It was a joy to work here in the early years uh, because you not only uh, had a lot of work to do, but uh, you were learning new things all the time. And, and I like to think that that's still true today. I think that's the strength is the, uh, the generational transformation of the firm uh, and the way we're structured now, uh, I think will lead to a, a kind of a new era. Your priority is to worry about the client. If, if you take care of the client, he's going to take care of the company, and it's going to work its way back to the employee. 
I think that's what is special about BSA and always has been and hopefully always will be is that personal touch that we offer. I think the best thing we ever wrote on the wall was creating opportunities for people to grow. We basically ought to eliminate work from the vocabulary. It should be, I'm coming to do what I really want to do.